stop time right there would be a good idea. You can squeeze right through there. Shoot that to stop time again. Hit the first checkpoint of the level, which is actually right there. It actually is possible to get across that, but... That is if you want to collect the Lost Chow, which doesn't really matter. I'm glad you're way across, switching the camera, but whatever. Shoot those guys before time stops. Oh crap, that's not good. When should we come up in a second? Oh man. We're gonna get right up here. Now no one comes this time, you just wanna shoot it. And there we go, we've played as the two mech walker guys. Welcome to the new video, by the way. I have to look at the time for that one, so whatever. Like I said, I'm not gonna be paying much attention. Now what you're supposed to do here is playing as Rouge, you're gonna wanna climb where do we want to be on this one? If you land on the bottom, there's uh, another one over there. You can climb up, as you can see right there at the bottom of your screen there. And you're going to fly over to here. And this is why Rouge doesn't have the upgrade that makes you shoot faster or anything. And now, since the water flow is way too fast for you to get through, you have to stop time to get through that water. Wait until that just goes past you, so you can just crawl in. This is actually, like, each each person's individual second sections are actually really short. Kill that guy, hit the switch, which makes that thing just flip down without making any noise whatsoever. You don't have to worry about hitting the time to go back because you're moving with them anyway, so whatever, just go. What you do want to do, though, is come over here, hit that right about there, too. There you go, hit it, and then land on the thing. Oh, I missed it. Jump on the button, and then there you go. You've beaten the third part, I believe. Rouge just stands there, which is a weird part. And now the next guy we're going to go to is good old Knuckles. Now, as you notice, the whole thing's filled up with water. We actually have to go down there, and that's the reason why this part's so hard. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is swim straight down. Find out, hit this one that we hit with Rouge at the beginning of the last one. Go up really, really fast. Kill, well you don't even have to kill that guy. Just break these. And go up, and there you go. Hit that switch, which is going to get rid of that laser. You can go to where Rouge had to go in the last one. You can actually go there, and if you go there, you, um, you get, um, a one-up but it's not really that much worth it. It's just a waste of time, really, I find. Especially if you're like me and have loads of rings. And lives, I mean. I have 55, as you can see. Now that this guy doesn't aim at you, so don't worry. But you'll notice that the thing is way too strong. You don't have... You would think something like named the Iron Boots or something would help you, but actually, that's not how it works. Jumping on people's heads is really hard because you can't punch when you're in the water. Now what I like to do is hold, sit on it, and then go. Just made it. Be careful for the lasers in here, they're actually kind of hard to dodge. Grab that, because that really helps everything. Right in the middle of this place is the thing that stops time. Okay, now I just want to go, just jump right for it. And you have to just make it to that one. Like, this level really pushes it, you know. And the weird thing is, is all you have to do is just jump over him, land on that switch as you just saw for a split second, and then you open the door and you're done Knuckles is part two. And we're just flying through this part, guys. We're really just flying through it. And then finally, the last thing we have to do is do it with Sonic. Sonic's part's by far probably the coolest part. You don't hit that, that way these guys won't try to kill you on the way. Jump up, hit that, hit that guy's head as you've seen with other Sonic guys. 
Just jump out, hit that guy. Don't even worry about those guys. They, they don't matter. They don't open the door. Hit that. Stop time again. Keep going. Get the gold beetle for this level. Stop time again. Roll through there. Bounce your way up here. I like the last level for this game. I like going over it, but it doesn't really matter which way you go. And you're just going to go sliding down. The music changes a little. You're just going to slide down. Slide, 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 slide. And after you slide it for this long, and slid, I guess, eventually you will finally get to the goal ring, which you can absolutely not miss. If you miss the goal ring and die, the game is glitching on you, because... There's no way that can just happen. The level has a lot of rings in it, but the thing is, the, le the rings don't carry over, I don't think, between guys, huh, so no problem. it doesn't really matter. And there we go, guys. We're done that level. Now it's on to the boss, because you have to have a last boss. really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow, we need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow. I beg of you, please, do it for He cried. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria. And you. And then inside the core. Cannon impact 15 minutes, 27 seconds. Things pulsating. What's that? It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. Why does it look like this inside like a like a space colony? Emerald! 